less than 500,000, so it's been halved, the mortality has, and that is great. But, what do we have here? We have, um, if, if they're where this malaria is a problem, these individuals are not doing so well because they might get malaria and die. Now, there's still some people with this genotype, but not as many. And these, if it's in an area where they don't have a lot of health care, really not doing well because they have sickle cell anemia and they die from it. But these people, they're not that sick from sickle cell because they just have the trait, and they're better able to survive malaria. In fact, If you look at people, black people in Africa, that, and you look at the frequency of hemoglobin S, it's still relatively high. This is where evolution comes in. It's not really survival of the fittest, but these people are dying. It's survival of those who live and reproduce. Well, if they die as children, they're not reproducing. So, the, the frequency of the big A is decreased because these individuals aren't reproducing as much. So, the hemoglobin S st stays relatively high compared to the United States. Now, I'm not saying recent immigrants from Africa. I'm talking about people whose, and I hate to say this, a horrible time in our history, but whose ancestors were brought here during the slave trade, for example. So they've been here for quite a few years, and malaria is not as big of a deal. So what we find is that the frequency of hemoglobin S is relatively low. Now this doesn't mean it's it's like 50 or 100 percent here. It just means compared to the United States it's low. And that's because we don't have malaria so these the big A is not selected against and the homozygous dominant so the only the homozygous recessive, there's no advantage to being heterozygous, so we have seen what is called a change in allele frequencies in a population over time, in this population compared to this population, and that is evolution. That's microevolution. We don't have a new species of people, but we have microevolution where uh, allele frequencies have changed. Okay, can you stop that please?